Howdy, I'm Sam Feifel. I'm with SparPointGroup.com. I'm here with Elmer Boll from Alice Labs. How are you doing, Elmer? I'm doing great, Sam. Absolutely. Fantastic. Excellent. So uh, you've already had a ton of conversations here at Spar, obviously. Yeah. What's the sort of most common problem that uh, people are presenting you with, and how's that getting you thinking about how you can solve that problem? Yeah. So we have one of the big things that, that, that we're definitely seeing is that these, with these modern scanners, you know, they're, they're pumping out more and more data every, every, every year. So doing something useful with that uh, is a big problem that you're seeing. You know? People just don't know what to do anymore with the amount of data. So uh, solving that problem is a thing that's really noticing, that I'm really noticing and uh, that we need to do something about. So some of our strategy is also going to be towards that direction for sure. One of the things that I've been hearing is uh, the asset owners, uh, the end users of the data yes. are not feeling the love. They feel like no one's listening to them mm -hmm. and that the engineering firms and the manufacturers are sort of pushing solutions at them. Um, how do we sort of make sure that we're creating solutions that people actually want to use? Yeah, that's a very good question because um, uh, the communication from the end users is, is a key aspect there. If they, if they don't want to use the data that's being generated, what's the use of doing the work? Uh, you know, I sat in on a, on a, on an, an heritage roundtable, and that was a common theme as well. In there, you know, we're we're getting all that data, and, but we're not really getting what we want. So, being able to provide the, the the solution to solve that problem is big, and and I think a lot of tools that can be created to solve that problem are also in the automation, providing a, an end product which is actually usable for an end user that they can do something with, and and even if it's a, it's it's something simple like enabling the end user to use the point cloud data itself uh, for, for, for looking actually what the, the end result is uh, or, or using RGB kind of data on your point cloud itself really makes it more come alive for the end users and not only for the, the tech user in that company uh, working with the data but also maybe the CEO of the company wants to look at where he's investing his money in. So that's I think a very important thing as well. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. I almost feel like uh, we're in that sort of stage of the industry where we've gotten to the point where people are like, okay, yeah, this seems like this would be useful. You know, I can see yes. where this would be great. But now they expect more. The expectations yes. have been raised. Yes. Um, is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? How do we sort of take advantage of that? I think by definition that is a good thing because uh, the, the demands and the requirements should come from that group of people. They are the ones who are paying the bill at the end of the day. So they are the, they have the rights to set the standards and the, and the demand. And if that means that the manufacturers or the, 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 the software providers need to raise the bar, you know, so be it. That's, a, that's something we'll need to tackle because that will drive the business in the coming years as well. That's key. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we'll be interested to see how you yeah. raise the bar and the next year. We'll see you at SPAR 2012, Absolutely. I'm sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, we'll be there. All right. Well, thanks for being here today. Yep. Thanks, you too, Sam. And thanks, you all, for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.